Today we're doing a metal try-in uh, of two bridges, uh, the right side supported by two dental implants, left side supported by two dental implants, and the abutments for this are the new uh, Atlantis cad cam abutments with a metal substructure for try-in. So here's the case, just turn your head a little bit away from me. You can see the two dental implants on the right side clearly with the healing caps. Turn your head this way. A little bit less easy to see on this side. We've got the left healing caps in place. The gum's just a little bit deeper on this side. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the healing caps and try the uh, cad cam milled abutments in place. So I'm just going to take the two healing caps off. So we've got the 3.8 mil healing cap here. comes off very nicely and we've got very nice gum condition indeed around the implant and then here's the other one in the molar position and we're just going to unscrew this this is the wider <coughs> 4.5 mil diameter <coughs> so next we're going to put the titanium milled abutment in place and you can see the beautiful marginal adaptation of this and it seats really very positively down using the 1.2 mil driver again I'm just going to tighten that down just hand tightened that's all it needs to be and you can, might not be able to see it on the camera but you've got a little orientation mark on the buckle surface that the laboratory put in just to help us orientate. So here's the next abutment. This is the molar 4.5 mil. Again this is a milled CAD cammed abutment, Atlantis abutment. It seats beautifully positively down. Again a very small buckle orientation dot to the buckle surface. And again I'm going to use the 1.22 millimeter driver to tighten this down only needs to be hand tightened because what we're doing today is metal trying and there's the abutment tightened down okay and we're going to get the metal substructure next and I'm going to try that in place so here's the metal substructure for the three unit bridge I'm going to just try that in place and what we're looking for is checking that I've got the abutments on correctly and this has passive fit. Push it all the way down and that is fitting down absolutely beautifully. So the next thing we'd want to check is whether we've got enough occlusal clearance for the technician to finish the porcelain. So I'll ask our patient to bite together for me. And that looks absolutely fine and if I turn this way a little bit you can see here's the bridge work on the other side which we've already tried in place I can remove that those are the CAD CAM abutments in situ uh, in the lateral incisor and molar position and we close that down So just the final bit we need to do now is a bite registration and for this we're going to use a stone bite and I'm just going to gently pipe that onto our bridge work on the left side, a little bit more onto the right side and if you bite firmly together for me, let me verify that's correct and then we just let that set for a couple of minutes. Okay, so now that that's set, we're going to remove the metal work with the bite registration. So just stretch open for me. Yeah, so that's the right hand bridge and then the left hand bridge as well. And you can see once more our abutments, which we're going to take off and reseat back onto the model, ready to go back to the laboratory.